morning students today we are going to discuss a very new topic on viruses a structure of viruses okay as far as viruses are concerned we are all knowing that viruses are ultra microscopic structures ultra microscopic structures means you could not see these structures even under compound microscope because they are very very small in their size because of their much smaller size we could see these viruses only under electron microscope electron microscope is usually having very high magnifying power with that we can even visualize the tiniest things because of their smaller size we refer them as ultra microscopic and these viruses are usually said to be the living entities living entities means the living particles as far as these viruses are concerned we never considered them as organisms in the previous video we made it very clear that why they are not called as organisms because they don't have the cellular structure they don't possess the metabolism of their own they don't have the enzyme system of their own and they are incapable of growth they are incapable of multiplication in absence of living host cells okay because of these properties we can't say them as organisms at the same time we are we are also not going to say them as the non living things because they do possess certain living properties say properties like multiplication inside the host cell presence of biological molecules in the virus such as nucleic acids even proteins even ability to infect ability to cause the disease Okay, these are all the properties of the organisms. Such organism properties are also there because of having both non-living and living properties. We are referring them as living entities. Even in the previous class, we also made the discussion on classification of viruses. How one could classify the viruses? Viruses can be classified on the basis of nucleic acid they possess. They are also classified on the basis of host that they are going to infect. Because you all know that viruses are very very specific in the ability of their infectivity. They select the proper host and infect. That is why we say them as host specific. which kind of host that they infect whether they infect plants or animals or they infect uh, prokaryotes like blue green algae or they infect bacteria based on that we categorize them we classify them for your studies structure of rna virus is mentioned structure of dna virus is mentioned now i am going to have a discussion of structure of rna virus let me consider structure of dna virus so for example bacteriophages
are usually having DNA and genetic material. They both just DNA. In bacteriophages, RNA is the answer. Because of having DNA as a genetic material, we refer bacteriophages as DNA viruses. And these bacteriophages are the specific viruses which are usually infecting the bacteria. They infect some of the bacteria. It was Robert Pott. For the first time, he observed these bacteria infecting the bacterium called Escherichia coli. That is why he called them as bacteria infecting viruses or bacterial viruses. Even they could also be called as bacteriophages. Okay, as far as these viruses are concerned, they, there are different types of bacteriophages. Uh, we categorize them as T1 virus, T2 virus, T4 virus, T5 virus, T8 virus, like this. These are all the different types of bacteriophages. Paul Cages, Robert Watt, who discovered them for the first time. That is why the bacteriophages are named as T phases or Paul Cages. Suppose if we observe one typical bacteriophage, how the bacteriophage appears under electron microscope. Bacteriophage more or less looks like this. Okay, this is how the bacteriophage appears. Bacteriophages are more of this complex. Yes. First of all, with regard to their shape, we have a further balance. Larva of frog. Larva of frog is said to be carboxyl. Suppose if you look into the larva of the frog, more or less, the larva of the frog is just like this. Larva of the frog is something like this. It is usually having the broad anterior portion, which we refer it as head, and the narrow posterior portion, which we call it as tail. And in tail are the two prominent parts which are there in the tadpole. Okay, like this tadpole, the bacterial face appears. It looks, it is having the broader head. Okay, this portion is usually referred as head. And this portion is usually referred as the tail. As far as this head is concerned, Head is usually said to be a cast so head drawn in shape. Its shape is said to be cast so head drawn. Even you can observe many triangular facets on the head part of the vacuum. It is somewhat looking like uh, benzene tree. But if you can observe the structures like this.
triangular shaped facets. These are the triangular shaped facets that are proposed. With regard to the length of the head, if you consider the head, head is about 950 and stronger its length. Whereas the diameter, I mean the width of the head is concerned. The width of the head is around the 650 m from this. Then you consider the tail. Can we go here? This is the posterior part of the bacterial class. We call this as tail. When we measure the length of the tail, tail is also of the same length. It is also of about 950 m from this. Means head and tail are of the same length. But tail is much narrower compared to that of what you call as this head. At the junction of head and tail, there is a small plate like structure present. Can I make out here? This is the small plate like structure that one could see at the junction of head and tail. Look here, this is the place where the head and the neck, I mean head and the tail joins with one another. We call this portion as collar. This is supposed to be the collar. At this tail, it ends with the plate like structure. Can I make out here? This is the plate like structure that is being present at the end of the tail. This part of the tail. With which it ends, it is just like a plate, we refer it as cleavelet. And tail plate ends with the two structures. Look here. Tail plate contains the spike like structures. These are the spike like structures. Okay, these spike like structures are usually called as tail spikes. And these are supposed to be the fiber like structures. They are looking like insect legs. We call them as tail fibers. These are tail fibers. Tail fibers and tail spikes are the structures which are attached to the tail foot. Please note that these tail fibers, they are six in number, and they help with the attachment of the bacterial phase. To the host cell. Usually, host cell is supposed to be the bacteria. Assume that this is one bacteria, maybe the E. coli bacteria. Okay. The bacterial phages, they usually comes and attaches to the host cell with the help of these fibers. They are the structures helping with the attachment of the bacterial phage virus to the bacterial cell. Suppose if you take the vertical section of this bacteriophage, if you observe the sectional view, suppose if you split a zone, you are going to split this bacteriophage into two pieces. Suppose if you observe one longitudinal half or one vertical half of this bacteriophage, how exactly it looks? More or less looks like this. The sectional view.
this is the bacterial phase appears at the sectional phase. Look at the head here. Can I make out here? Head, as I told you, it is very much broader when compared to the tail. It contains the DNA. Can I make out here? This is supposed to be the double stratum. Linear DNA. Okay, this double stranded linear DNA is present there in the head region. And it is of about 50 microns in length. Okay, as far as the head portion is concerned, this is the head portion. Head is usually better for what you call as. The protein molecules. The proteins are going to be present, and these proteins are going to form the protein bond. In other words, this protein bond is also called as capsid. Here, two layers of proteins are present, and these two layers of proteins they are going to form what you call as the protein bond of the capsid. Then consider the tail. Look at the tail. As far as tail is concerned, usually there in the tail you can observe the central entry cavity. It looks like a cylinder enclosing the central entry cavity. This entry cavity is usually called as home. And this cavity or core is usually covered with what you call as the proteinaceous covering. This Covering made by the proteins surrounding the central core of the tail is called as sheet. Sheet means cover, yes. This is the covering formed around the central cavity made up of proteins. Tail ends with the structure, as I already told you, we refer to this structure as tail plate. And this tail plate is attached with what you call as the spikes as well as the tail. Okay, this is with reference to that of structure of the bacterial phase. In your exam question, questions may be asked, particularly the five mark question. Five mark question can be asked like this. Describe the structure of bacterial phase. If the question is asked, you have to draw these two diagrams, label the parts, and you have to explain. You must be in such a situation that by looking at the structure, you should write the points. You always cultivate that habit of writing the explanation by looking at the diagrams. It becomes so easy for you. So it is very easy to form the sentences by looking at the diagrams. Okay. Tadpole shape, you have to say two parts, you have to write in another sentence. What the head contains, how it appears, what is the length, what is the width, what about the tail, what are the parts which are there in the tail, you have to write. In the section of view, what you are observing, you are observing the DNA, what is the length of the DNA and what is the nature of the DNA. Okay, what about the tail? What about the cavity that is core? What about the sheet? How it is constructed? Again, you have to explain the tail spikes and tail plate. It forms one tail answer. Okay, it's very easy. Like that, you have to write the uh, answers by looking at the diagrams. Okay, this is with reference to that of structure of bacteriophages. Okay, I will just return to the next, that is structure of RNA viruses. Right over here.
structure of all elements. Okay, as far as RNA virus is concerned, these RNA viruses are usually having RNA as genetic material. And they don't have the DNA. DNA is absent in RNA viruses. The RNA that is present is also serving as genetic material. It does the function of DNA. For example, you consider tobacco mosaic virus. We abbreviate this tobacco mosaic virus in short as TMV. You all know that this tobacco mosaic virus is the one which is going to cause mosaic disease in many of the droplets, including the tobacco. That's why we refer it as tobacco mosaic virus. What you can see there is the tobacco mosaic virus. When you look into the tobacco mosaic virus, the shape is very specific. Tobacco mosaic virus is very much elongated and it is looking like that of a rod. Okay, it is a rod shaped virus. It, it more or less looks like this. is elongated and rod shaped. And here what you can see is this virus contains the central cavity. Around this central cavity there is a RNA present. RNA is a single stranded nucleic acid. This nucleic acid is forming the core of the tobacco mosaic virus. Core means center exactly RNA is there in the center. And attached to this RNA, you can see the protein molecules. These are supposed to be the protein molecules that you can see. Okay. And here, RNA as well as the protein molecules, they together construct what you call as the TMB or tobacco mosaic virus. Okay. Suppose if you measure the Length. length of the tobacco mosaic virus is around 3000 angstroms. What about the diameter? Suppose if you look into the diameter, the diameter of this tobacco mosaic virus is around 180 angstroms. If a part of this tobacco mosaic virus is magnified under electron microscope, okay, I am just going to magnify only this part of the tobacco mosaic virus under the power of the electron microscope. So, exactly this virus looks, okay, this virus more or less looks like this. It contains what you call as the RNA. Look here, this, this might be the RNA, okay. And if this RNA is going to be present almost at the center of the virus, it is just running as a single stranded five strand all along the length of the tobacco mosaic virus. Attached to this RNA, you can see the presence of what you call as the protein molecules. You can see the protein molecules. These are supposed to be the protein molecules.
bis sie da sind. Discuss all those parts in the next 